गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे इज नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम इज लिमिटेशन ऑफ बोहर सेटोमिक थेरी दैट इज डिमेरिट्स ऑफ बोहर सेटोमिक थेरी फर्स्ट लिमिटेशन इज बोहर एटोमिक थेरी फेल्स टू अकाउंट फॉर फाइनर डिटेल्स ऑफ द एटोमिक स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एज ऑब्जर्व इन सोफिस्टिकेटेड स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपिक एक्सपेरिमेंट्स फर्स्ट वन बोहर्स एटॉमिक थियोरी फेल्स टू अकाउंट फॉर फाइनर डिटेल्स ऑफ द एटॉमिक स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एज ऑब्जर्व इन सोफिस्टिकेटेड स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपिक एक्सपेरिमेंट दिस इज द फर्स्ट लिमिटेशन सेकेंड वन बोहर्स एटॉमिक थियोरी वॉज अनेबल टू एक्सप्लेन द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ एटम्स अदर दैन हाइड्रोजन Bohr's atomic theory was unable to explain. It is unable to explain the spectrum of atoms other than hydrogen. Third one, Bohr's atomic theory could not explain the splitting of spectral lines. Bohr's atomic theory could not explain the splitting of spectral lines in the presence of magnetic field. That is Zeeman effect. और इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट स्टार्क इफेक्ट मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इट इज नोन एज जीमन इफेक्ट एंड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इट इज नोन एज स्टार्क इफेक्ट वंस अगेन थर्ड लिमिटेशन इज बोहर्स एटॉमिक थियोरी कुड नॉट एक्सप्लेन द स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रल लाइंस इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दैट इज जीमन इफेक्ट और इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड दैट इज स्टार्क इफेक्ट लास्ट वन Bohr's atomic theory fails to explain the ability of Bohr's theory fails to explain the ability of atoms to form molecules by chemical bond it is fails to explain the ability of atoms to form molecules by covalent bond so these are the four limitations first limitation difficult hai thoda kya hai dekho Bohr's atomic theory failed to account for finer details of the atomic spectrum of hydrogen as observed in sophisticated spectroscopic experiment aage ke easy hai bohr's atomic theory was unable to explain the spectrum of atoms other than hydrogen third one bohr's atomic theory could not explain the splitting of spectral lines in the presence of magnetic field that is zeeman effect and elect or electric field that is stark effect and last one bohr's atomic theory fails to explain the ability of atoms to form molecules by chemical bond okay the next question is explain de broglie's equation de broglie's equation de broglie's proposed in 1924 that matter should exhibit a dual behavior de broglie proposed in 1924 that matter should exhibit a dual behavior that is every object which possesses a mass and velocity behaves both as particles and as a wave every object which possesses a mass and velocity behaves both as a particles and as a wave this means that an electron should have momentum that is rho and property of particles as well as wavelength lambda this means that an electron should have momentum that is indicated by rho a property of particles as well as wavelength that is lambda and a property of wave property of wave according to de broglie's the wavelength lambda is given by according to de broglie's the wavelength that is lambda is given by lambda is equal to h upon mv lambda is equal to h upon mv where h is planck's constant okay so the quantity mv gives the momentum of the particles mv is the quantity that gives the momentum of the particles so lambda is equal to lambda is equal to h upon rho so where rho is known as momentum of particle that is mv rho it is known as mv that is momentum of particle okay so this is de broglie's 
equation. De Broglie's equation is lambda is equal to h upon rho, where rho is known as momentum of particle. Okay. Now, next one is explain Heisenberg's uncertain principles. Explain Heisenberg's uncertain principles. So, Werner's Heisenberg's in 1927, Werner's Heisenberg's in 1927, it can be stated as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle states that it can be states that as it is impossible to determine simultaneously the exact position and exact momentum of an electron. What is the statement? Werner's, Werner's Heisenberg's in 1927 states that as it is impossible to determine it is impossible to determine simultaneously the exact position and exact momentum of an electron uh, sorry uh, exact position and exact momentum of an electron exact position and exact momentum of an electron okay so if delta x if delta x is the uncertainty in the determination of the position of a very small moving particles if delta x is the uncertainty in the determination of the position of a very small moving particles and delta px is the uncertainty in the determination of its of its momentum then once again if delta x is the uncertainty in the determination of the position of a very small moving particles and delta px is the uncertainty in the determination of its momentum then delta x into delta px is greater than or equal to h upon 4 pi the product of delta x and delta px is greater than or equal to h upon 4 pi okay the above equation can be stated as this equation can also be stated as delta x into delta vx is greater or equal to h upon 4 pi because delta px is equal to m delta vx delta px is equal to m delta vx and m is the mass it is very very small mass of particle and it is very very small and it can be neglected so de where delta v is the uncertainty in the determination of velocity and m is the mass of the particles m is the mass of the particle okay so this is the heisenberg's uncertainty principle what is the statement it is impossible to determine simultaneous the exact position and exact momentum of an electron okay so this is Heisenberg uh, uncertainty principle next one is write a mathematical Schrodinger equation Schrodinger equation it is also known as wave equation write mathematically schrodinger equation or wave equation schrodinger developed the fundamental equation of quantum mechanics schrodinger developed the fundamental equation of quantum mechanics which incorporates wave particles duality of matter which incorporates wave particles duality of matter the schrodinger equation or wave equation is written as h bar so h bar it is known as mathematical operation called hamilton hamiltonian hamiltonian so hamiltonian psi hamiltonian into psi is equal to e psi so here hamiltonian h ke upar jo bar diya wo usse kehte hamiltonian so hamiltonian is a mathematical operation called hamiltonian and psi this symbol it is known as psi okay psi is the wave function and e is the total energy of the system e is the total energy of the system once again uh, h psi upper bar diya hai uske upar h ke upar uh, bar h psi into e psi 
सो हे बाय इज अ मैथमेटिकल ऑपरेशन कॉल्ड हेमिल्टोनियन ओके सो साय इज द वेव फंक्शन एंड ई इज द टोटल एनर्जी ऑफ द सिस्टम एंड दिस इज नोन एज स्क्रॉडिंजर इक्वेशन और वेव इक्वेशन ओके नाउ वॉट इज क्वांटम नंबर very next and very important part quantum number there are four quantum number uh, there are four quantum numbers are there so these quantum numbers are very important so what is quantum number give examples definition textbook pe nahi hai so what is the definition of quantum number the set of four numbers which gives complete information about the location and energy of an electron in an atom the set of four numbers which gives the complete information about the location and energy of an electron in an atom is called quantum number there are four quantum number first one is principal quantum number n it determines size of an orbit principal quantum number determines size of an orbit azimuthal quantum number it is indicated by l principal quantum number it is indicated by n azimuthal quantum number it is also known as subsidiary quantum number and it is indicated by small l it determines shape of an orbital it determines shape of an orbital third one is magnetic quantum number it is indicated by symbol ml ml it describes the orientation of an electron in space it describes the orientation of an electron in space last one is electron spin quantum number spin that is electron spin quantum number it is indicated by ms it determines the direction of spins of an orbital in space direction of spins of an orbital in space okay so these are the four quantum number first one is principal quantum number explain principal quantum number in charon mein se aapko exam mein ek quantum number aayega hi 110 percent char quantum number hai उन चारों में से एक क्वांटम नंबर आपको आएगा एग्जाम में ओके एक्सप्लेन प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर इट इज डिनोटेड बाय लेटर एन फर्स्ट पॉइंट इट इज डिनोटेड बाय लेटर एन इट डिस्क्राइब्स सॉरी इट डिटरमाइंस द एवरेज डिस्टेंस ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम द न्यूक्लियस न्यूक्लियस से इलेक्ट्रॉन का डिस्टेंस कितना है एवरेज डिस्टेंस कितना है वो डिटरमाइन करने के लिए इसका इस्तेमाल किया जाता है इट डिटरमाइंस द एवरेज डिस्टेंस ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम द न्यूक्लियस दैट इज द साइज ऑफ एन ऑर्बिटल कैन बी डिटरमाइन बाय दिस क्वांटम नंबर ऑर्बिटल का साइज डिटरमाइन करने के लिए ऑर्बिट का साइज डिटरमाइन करने के लिए द साइज ऑफ एन ऑर्बिट कैन बी डिटरमाइन बाय दिस क्वांटम नंबर ओके थर्ड वन it indicates the principal shell or main energy level in which electrons are present it indicates the principal shell k l m n o these are known as principal shell it indicates the principal shell or main energy level energy level n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 so that is it indicates the principal shell or main energy level in which electrons are present it has all positive integral values 1 2 3 4 5 etc this principal quantum number has all positive integral values 1 2 3 4 5 starting from the nucleus a set of atomic orbitals with given values of n a set of atomic orbitals with given value of n constitute a single shell a set of atomic orbitals with a given value of n n is equal to 1 that is k shell containing only one orbital s orbital n is equal to 2 n is equal to 2 l shell containing two atomic orbitals s and p so that is a set of atomic orbitals with given value of n constitute a single shell with these shells are also represented by letters the shells are indicated by letters k l m n o etc as the value of n increases as the value of n increases and is given by as the value of n increases the number of allowed orbitals as the value of n increases the number of allowed orbitals in that shell increases and is given by n square 
एन स्क्वायर एज द वैल्यू ऑफ यहाँ पर एन स्क्वायर नहीं है एज द वैल्यू ऑफ एन इंक्रीजेज द नंबर ऑफ अलाउड ऑर्बिटल्स इन दैट शेल इंक्रीजेज एंड इज गिवन बाय एन एन स्क्वायर इट इज गिवन बाय एन स्क्वायर ओके सेवेंथ वन यहाँ पर एन नहीं दिया एन स्क्वायर नहीं दिया वहाँ पर गिवन बाय के बाद एन स्क्वायर है एज द वैल्यू ऑफ एन इंक्रीजेस एज द वैल्यू ऑफ एन इंक्रीजेस द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द शेल फ्रॉम द न्यूक्लियस इंक्रीजेस एंड द साइज ऑफ द शेल इंक्रीजेस इट्स एनर्जी ऑल्सो गोज ऑन इंक्रीजिंग एन की वैल्यू इंक्रीज होने के बाद एज द वैल्यू ऑफ एन इंक्रीजेस द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द शेल फ्रॉम द न्यूक्लियस इंक्रीजेस एंड द साइज ऑफ द शेल ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस इट्स एनर्जी ऑल्सो गोज ऑन इंक्रीजिंग उसकी एनर्जी भी क्या होती है इंक्रीज हो जाती है सो के एल एम एन ओ इसमें एनर्जी सबसे ज्यादा किसकी है ओ की सो ओ शेल इट इज अवे फ्रॉम द न्यूक्लियस एंड के शेल इज नियर टू द न्यूक्लियस ओके सो दिस इज प्रिंसिपल कॉन्टेप्ट नंबर एंड लास्ट पॉइंट इज द maximum number of electrons present in any shell is given by 2n square maximum number of electrons present in any shell is given by 2n square ek do value diye dekho yahan par pehla hai mm, as the value of n increases the number of allowed orbitals as the value of n increases the number of allowed orbital in that shell increases and it is given by n square number of allowed orbital it is indicated by n square and the maximum number of electrons present in any shell kisi bhi shell mein maximum number of electron determine karne ke liye formula kaun sa hai 2 n square so principal quantum number table yahan par principal quantum number n is equal to 1 2 3 4 and shell symbol it is indicated by symbol 1 means k 2 means l 3 means m 4 means n 5 means o okay so Allowed number of orbitals n square. कैसे निकालेंगे वन स्क्वायर मीन्स वन टू स्क्वायर मीन्स फोर सो एल शेल कंटेनिंग हाउ मेनी अलाउड ऑर्बिटल्स फोर एस का एक पी के आगे आपको समझ में आएगा एंड एम शेल द अलाउड ऑर्बिटल्स आर नाइन एन स्क्वायर थ्री स्क्वायर दैट इज नाइन एंड एन फॉर एन शेल द अलाउड ऑर्बिटल फोर स्क्वायर दैट इज सिक्सटीन एंड द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन शेल दैट इज टू एन स्क्वायर टू इंटू वन स्क्वायर दैट इज टू इंटू वन दैट इज टू टू इंटू टू स्क्वायर दैट इज स्क्वायर टू का स्क्वायर फोर फोर टू जा एट और थर्ड एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री के लिए टू इंटू थ्री स्क्वायर नाइन नाइन टू जा एटीन एंड फोर इंटू टू इंटू फोर स्क्वायर दैट इज फोर स्क्वायर मीन्स सिक्सटीन इंटू टू दैट इज सिक्सटीन टू जा थर्टी टू ओके सो एज वी मूव फ्रॉम के शेल टू एन शेल energy size of shell and energy increases size of shell increases energy also increases okay so this is first quantum number that is principal quantum number this is the today's part aage hum kal next part dekhenge next quantum number dekhenge thank you